Hey everybody, GC13 here. This actually isn't the Glitch Text Conspiracy Corner. While it definitely smells like a conspiracy is afoot in the world of Glitch Text, to a fan, it should have always been a fairly uncontroversial statement to say that Hanobi Corporation is up to way more than just selling video games. I mean, just look at the level of technology Hanobi crams into every single one of their game consoles. When their machines glitch out, video game characters come to life and enact their programming in the real world. Enormous spaces can even have their maps overwritten by the malfunctioning game console. Doesn't it strike you as a little odd that a Hanobi console is so... over-engineered? If that's what one can do when it's broken, imagine what you could do with it when it's fully functional. Imagine what you could do with a full-sized machine that didn't need to be cheap enough to be sold into every home. Just look at what Ridley did when her console glitched in a stable way. She manipulated the Plexels to build her Ridley Pyre, a place just for her. I think it's safe to say that if Hanobi wanted, they could twist the world into whatever shape they chose. Well, I don't know if Glitch Text is the kind of show to get into all of that political thriller stuff. I do think that we were always meant to wonder what Hanobi was really up to, though. Ultimately, we'll just have to hope that Season 3 gets finished and released, but that doesn't mean that the first two seasons left us completely in the dark. Bit Prime, the last episode to be released, actually lets our characters on to at least some of the conspiracy. In the past, Phil was able to snag some files from Hanobi's development labs and hide them in Bit's memory, since he knew his own memory would be wiped by corporate. Keep them safe, Phil. They may come in handy when things get glitchy. Nothing in his message to his future self sounds particularly bothered by what he's discovered. He did seem a little unsettled by how corporate doles out memory wipes, but it didn't sound like he found anything sinister in those files he stole. He just wanted them on hand to make his job easier in the future. I'm not saying that just because Phil wasn't concerned by what he found out, there couldn't have been anything bad going on in Hanobi's development labs, but that's really neither here nor there. What's much more interesting is what those development labs were working on. And based on what we know about what was planned for Season 3, I think there's only one possible answer. Bolippius. Now, Bolippius really deserves its own video, but suffice to say that Bolippius is a glitch with human-level intelligence, not one that obeys very simple game programming. What we're interested in, though, is Bolippius's importance to the plot. The very end of the second episode reveals that Hanobi is on the hunt for this mysterious entity, and in the second season, one of those hunters clued us in to what Bolippius is. In the third season? Well, let's just say that Bolippius is a big enough deal in the third season to get an episode named after it. With such a bright line through the series so far, it makes sense that Bolippius would also be connected to the season-ending cliffhanger. Obviously, those files are going to lead to something big in Season 3, and what could be bigger than a human intelligence glitch? Besides, doesn't it make sense that Phil would want to hold on to those files if they were about something like Bolippius? He's a glitch tech, after all. He hunts down and captures glitches. If he found out the corporate was actually building better glitches, it would make sense he'd want some information on hand in case one of those glitches got loose. Which, in his experience, they always do. So yeah, I think that makes it a safe bet. Phil recovered files concerning the development of high-intelligence glitches and stashed them away, so we'd have them when he needed them. It remains to be seen just how central to Hanobi's work Bolippius is, but we've already seen our characters start down the rabbit hole. Why do you think Hanobi is working on intelligent glitches? Did Bolippius already exist and they're trying to learn more about it? Or do you think that Bolippius escaped from Hanobi's labs? Let me know down in the comments below. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more cartoon videos.